What's up guys, my name is Derek and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be telling you a story about the craziest girl that I've ever dated. You know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you can be notified in the future when I upload a video. Alright, let's get it. Alright guys, so this story took place in 2014. Yeah, in 2014. Like that, that was like kinda like my best year in high school. You know your boy had some clouts. I had some mojo, you know. Uh, I wasn't doing too bad with the ladies and all that. And all that. <clears throat> matric year, right? That's my matric year. This was the point where everything went south. It started out good like 2020 and then it was just horrible from that point. Alright, so this girl was new in school, right? She was from a new school, she had just transferred, she was doing grade 11. I was doing my trick, you know. Again, clouts. <laughs> Alright, so my friend introduces me to this girl, you know, because she was friends with her. And about a week later, your boy was dating the girl. You know what I'm saying? Clouds, boy. All right, now, the girl was cute, guys. I don't want to lie. The girl was cute. You know, she was yellow. She was thick. And and she, she, she had booty. You know what I'm saying? She had booty. <laughs> the girl had booty. Now, everybody who knows me knows that I have only one weakness in this entire earth. And that weakness is booty. I love me some booty. Okay, in the beginning it was nice, you know. Um, nobody knew her really. I didn't know her myself. And she looked all oh, innocent, you know. She was a really nice girl. She really cared about me, you know. She would bring me some food during lunch break. You know, it, it was nice. It was, it was a really nice high school relationship. I really enjoyed it in the beginning, right? In the beginning, you know. She even, like, got me comfortable to the point where I was allowing her to to kiss me in public and stuff like that. Public display of affection is not my thing, but I let her do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's how much things were nice in the beginning of the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward about a month into the relationship, I start hearing stories, man. People telling me that your girl, your girl is going around harassing people. I, I started getting complaints from my female friends at the time that, you know, your girl came to me, she told me to leave you alone. So I'm just like, I'm, man. you know, why? She was even confronting my exes, like girls I wasn't even talking to anymore. She would go to other schools, you know, to confront those girls and threaten them on some, I will beat you if you keep speaking to him and all that. You know, textbook narcissism and all that. You know, she was a narcissist, she was straight crazy. And then one day I was just tired of hearing all these stories and rumors and everything. So I confronted her. I was like, yo babe, people are telling me that you out here harassing people and you know, you're threatening people, telling them that you're gonna beat them. What's going on? And so, and she's like, no baby, no, uh, I didn't do that. And she starts crying and all that. She was really good at that. It's you no know, innocent and all that. I didn't do it, baby. No, they lying. They didn't, you know. You know, dish, 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 dish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a good guy. I let it slide, bruh. I let it slide. I'm like, ah, uh, you know, they frame me, my girl. You know, she's too sweet to be doing these things until I saw it myself. You know, fast forward another two weeks into the relationship. I had female friends at school, right? So. Sometimes I would chill with them during lunch break, you know, we would eat and all that. And then one day, I'm chilling with my friends. Okay, a friend, it was a friend, right? Let's call her Palesa, you know? Let's call her Palesa. I'm chilling with Palesa and then, you know, hey, fuck you, man. I'm chilling, <laughs> I'm chilling with Palesa and she's like, Ntokozo. What's that? I'm like, ah, babe, Nia's a man. I'm just, I'm still talking, no pali, so yeah, I'm gonna come right now. She's like, now, what's a manji? Manji, what's that? I'm on some. 
I go to her, and then when I get there, she's pissed. She's like, yeah, I don't like you hanging out with this girl. What not, you should end that friendship. I don't like her, I don't like it. You know, stop. You're my man, you're not supposed to be hanging with her. Whew. And I start thinking to myself, like, those people were right. Like those people who were telling me that she was doing all those nasty things, they were right. And I start seeing her behavior change. And so she's, she starts becoming possessive. She wants all of my time and my soul. You know, every fiber of my being she wants to own. You know, she starts controlling me and telling me who I should hang with and who I should not hang with. You know, she starts being something that I ain't never seen before. So I'm chilling at home one day and I decide to myself, Yazi, I'm not happy anymore. Like this relationship is not working for me, you know? I want out. Like I'm gonna dump this girl. So I, I pull out my phone and then I text her on some. Babe, this thing is not working anymore. You are suffocating me. I like you a lot, but this behavior has gone too far. So I'm breaking up with you. Bye. Slept. I'm like, peace, you know? I'm finally free. It was a Thursday. I dumped her on a Thursday night. The following day was a Friday. You know, I'm good. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? There's a spring on my step. You know, I got rid of that. You know? All that bad negative energy. I'm just like, yeah, boy. Now, on Fridays, usually on Fridays in public schools, we clean, right? Like the, the, the students clean, we take out the tables and the chairs, pack them, you know, outside or at, at, at the back of the class, right? Of the classroom. Fair day, we're cleaning, right? And when we clean, this is like a period before school is out, it's like uh, 30 minutes, I think, before school is out. You know, so, so we're cleaning, right? Fairly, we're cleaning, we're cleaning, and everybody's out. The whole school is out, okay? I was not ready for what was about to happen. Like I was not, I was not, I was not prepared, man. I was not spiritually prepared. I was not mentally prepared for what was about to take place. Okay. Whew. I'm get, I'm get, I'm getting like flashbacks, man. I can still feel it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh God! Why? Hmm? Why? Why me the shit? Right, Fede. We're cleaning. Everybody's out. You know, they're cleaning their classrooms too. It's a Friday. It's nice. You know, we're cleaning. And then there was this girl that I had a thing for in my class for about three years. But for whatever reason, we never dated. You know, it was like maybe the the universe didn't want it to happen or whatever. This girl starts being cute. Like she decides to be cute out of the blue, you know, she starts climbing on my back like a little cute monkey, you know what I'm saying? She was chocolate. She was nice. Fairy, she starts being cute and all that. And then while she's doing that, I pull out my phone and then I listen to music, right? And then I see her, the other one, the crazy one. I see her, chilling with her friends over there and then they're like she's in the middle and then her friends are like doing a circle type situation and then i see like they 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 they, they, they talking you know they, they whispering things in her ear you know what i'm saying like all oh, snakes all oh, medusa like so they they busy poisoning her with, with stuff you know motivating her to come face me you know my god is down i don't even know what's going on you know I'm just chilling there, listening to my music. Uh, my little monkey's being cute over here. It's nice, man. You know, it's a good day. I had a good day. You know, it was nice. It was a really good day. So, I don't know what pushed her over the edge, right? But this girl, in a matter of two seconds, she walks all the way from over there to over here. She does it quietly, so I wouldn't detect her because I know my spidey sense is like, you know, Shop boy can never sneak up on me. Fair is she walks, and then when she gets here, she does a 90 degree turn. It was so fast, I didn't have a chance to react. I'm talking something out of Dragon Ball Z on some, you know. And then, like, before I could even blink, bruh, 
like that's how she reacted 90 degree turn zhu, zhu, zhu. and then in a it, bruh, in the blink of an eye like i kid you not in the blink of an eye i get the biggest slap of my life man i can never live that slap down this girl slaps me in front of the whole school bruh i was devastated my g i was devastated i could feel like my skin i feel like i felt like there was little things dancing on the side of my cheek it felt like you know you know when someone slaps you and then your skin goes you know it goes like this it goes like this like someone is just you know that's what it felt like and she walks away 